Yes, let's talk about the 2019 African Games. We're counting down uh, to get on the way in Rabat, Morocco from Friday with the football competition. We've been unveiling teams yesterday on this show. We unveiled the table tennis team. We unveiled the volleyball team and the handball team. Tonight, let me let you know, uh, Team Taekwondo for Nigeria at the 2019 African Games. 16 athletes have been se uh, selected uh, for this mission. Eight male and eight female uh, Taekwondoists. For the men, Sunday on offer. He's a veteran in Taekwondo. Um, he will be uh, in leading the team, the men's team, to Rabat, Morocco. There's Abdul Latif Ariola in that one. Abdul Fatai Sanusi. Uh, Ife Oluwa Ajayi. Shola Oluwa Okere. Uh, Paul Kolade is also in the team. For the men, Peter Iteku and Benjamin Okumose is also uh, part of the team. For the women, the captain is China Zom Wosu. Uh, our other teammates are Josephine Esuku, Sekinat Adebayo, Helen Okoko, Vivian Indu, Elizabeth Ayana Cho, Uzomaka Otuadima, champion. Anytime, any day. And she says she's going to Rabat to, to show that she's got some quality and Chiamaka Onumonu. Uh, mix up the team. Look, I look forward to the African Games to You know why? Because it gives us another opportunity to remind ourselves that we are a sporting country, not just football. Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll be optimistic this year because there's, <laughs> there's a pattern. And the pattern is since we won in 2003, mm. which we hosted our only win of the All African Games, by the way, we have moved a step closer each year. In 2007, we finished fourth the medals table in 2011 we finished third mm. the last edition in congo brazzaville in 2015 we finished second behind egypt who yeah. won for a record fifth time um, so yeah the, it looks like we're moving forward uh all preparation hasn't been top notch across board however we see expect the athletes because the names we have here are guys who can deliver mm. when i look at taekwondo i, I have a lot of hope in that team yeah. I look at wrestling, I have a lot of hope in that mm. thing. Maybe not so much hope in the footballing department, but I look at Taekwondo, I look at wrestling, and table this tennis. and table tennis as well. These are places we will pick up Wait gold late, medals. Mm. That is always guaranteed. So it's a place we will pick up gold medals, and by the time we look at our chances overall, I think if we if our athletes live up to expectation, because there is a high level of expectation actually resting on their shoulders and if they do live up to their expectation particularly those in table tennis and wrestling and weightlifting if they do live up to their expectation i think we can quite frankly challenge to be one of the best teams at, the, at, at this year's Africa, all That's african right. games so we look forward to this it's going to be quite interesting to see just how far the mm. athletes will push mm. again a lot of support needs to come from the government support, support. you know a lot of mm. promises that have been made need to be fulfilled mm. these athletes need to be able to focus solely yeah. on the sport yeah. and not anything else mm. you know if everything is in right order so i think we'll go as far as so possible it's what you so you reap so simple as that you mentioned egypt and their dominance do you need anybody to tell you she need to tell you what they are doing for sports at every level, not just even having leagues, having club sides that are doing so well. Uh, Al Ali came here to win the table tennis club championship. Yeah. They are dominant in volleyball. They are dominant in athletics. They keep getting better. So that's it. Uh, it is what you saw you reap. Let's just hope that Nigeria. Uh, we have a good experience in Rabat, Morocco at the African Games. Uh, wrestling also unveiled uh, the athletes for the 2019 African Games today. They did that in Yenagua, the Bielsa State Capital. Let's run through the men's team for uh, wrestling. Ikechuku Robinson uh, competing in 60 kg. Emmanuel Wore, who has done so well. He keeps getting better and better uh, right from when he won the African Championship. He will be going to Rabat. Tochuko Okeke is also in Welsin. Welsin comes with a lot of experience also when talking about wrestling in Nigeria. John Ogbonna is also a good wrestler uh, in the 74 kg. Melvin Bebo, that's also a champion anytime, any day. Suso Tamara, another veteran of wrestling in Nigeria. That's why I always ask the Federation, when are we going to replace some of these guys? Uh, Boltage, uh, Senivier in the 125 cages, a big, big guy uh, for uh, wrestling in Nigeria. And there's also uh, Amas Daniel in the mix. That's for the men. Let's talk about.
lot of women now. The Messi Genesis in the 50 kg. I love the way she wrestles. Goes around the mat, walks out on it, pins you down, and then it's it's all over. Uh, she will be going to Rabat. Boss says Samuel uh, in the 53 kg. And Star Girl or Duanyo at the crew here in the 75 kg. Aminata Dini, uh, Commonwealth gold medalist. She's also in the mix. Blessing Oborodudu, another African champion. And Blessing Oyebuchi. Uh, lost uh, the African championship in Port Harcourt and went to the last one to win gold. That's progress right there. So you said it that we're wrestling. No shaking. No fears. Uh, we can be very optimistic. I, I don't want to put them on that immense pressure, otherwise I'll say I'll put a number uh, of put a number to the level of expectation we have. Mm -hmm. You know, say we win X, Y, Z amount of gold. But look, these are folks who consistently over the years have delivered. Mm -hmm. Either we talk, when we talk about uh, Odanya Dekuroye, who has made a name for herself so big over the last five years took her all the way to India, and she's still dominating. So we have world beaters. We have continental champions. We have uh, people who have gone to the Commonwealth Games and returned as winners as well. So these names, when we look at them again, are people you are confident of yeah. getting medals from. Yeah. You know, uh, They're targeting six gold, gold medals. I think they can get that, more Which is that. fair. Yeah. You know, I, I think they will get more than six gold medals, mm. although, again, a lot of this, this is our projections, but you look at um, Bless Nobu, you look at Amina, uh, Amina Tadini, you look at uh, Odwan Yadeh These are mm -hmm. three gold medals you're expecting. Messi, Genesis. Messi as well. So mm. you're looking at three to four at the very least from the female category. Yeah. You're looking at Suso, Tamaru. You're expecting to come. experience. Of course, you're looking at Wilson as well. So these are guys who have won before yeah. and you're expecting them to win again because at this level, at the elite level, they are at the top of your game. So I agree. this I agree. wrestling, yeah. no doubt at all. I think it's one of the places we pick up a lot, rack, you know, rack up a lot of medals yeah. as well as weightlifting. And I like this. After the unveiling, they're all looking smart, looking sharp, ready to go. Let's go to Yellow Go out of the State Captain and get some talking points after the unveiling of the wrestling team. At the last Africa Games, we went with 23 athletes uh, to Brazzaville. This time, we are going with 16, unfortunately because uh, Morocco, the host, uh, only insisted on Olympic weight classes, which are only 18, but because of this long list we had, we could only go with 16 athletes. Uh, so um, it will be difficult to meet the, the number of medals we won the last time. Uh, but we'll, we'll try as much as we can. The athletes are very, very poised to do well for Nigeria. I can see it in them. I can see it in, see it in their training. And I'm, I'm quite hopeful that uh, they will do well for Nigeria. You know, we've been watching tapes, we've been watching videos of our opponents, especially the ones that will threaten for gold medals in uh, El Jadida, Morocco. Um, we've been making a lot of uh, corrections to our techniques, um, but we're mostly focused on what we can do as athletes. So our focus over the last two weeks has been on implementation of some of the things we think we can do well. And so far, the athletes are very confident. We've trained well. We've had one good week, uh, month of training. We still have another solid week of training before we leave for El Jadida. And I'm, I'm really with it. We're wishing the athletes the best of luck. I, I'm sure they're going to do well. The president has said it all. They cut down the number of uh, uh, the persons that are supposed to travel, but that will not discourage us. Gold is gold. If we, if we happen to go with the six, and we've got six medals, we've won the overall. So, we promise the Nigerians that we are going to win their six medals, six gold medals at the Games. We have been training for a month now, and the training is good. We are ready to go and compete in Morocco. And I believe that the number of people that we are going is not the same number of people that went last time. And I know that we are going to do well since it's the Olympic classes that are going for this competition, I know we are going to put our 100% best because compared to the world qualifying, this all African Games is the smaller one for us. So we are going to put our best and to make Nigeria proud.
Back in Sports Tonight on Channels Television. We're broadcasting from our sports center in Lagos, Nigeria. You listen to Daniel Igali, the president of the Nigeria Wrestling Federation, confirming that 16 wrestlers will represent Nigeria. And I'm asked Daniel, says, look, whatever it is, because the, the number was cut down, so he said, it's okay. We will still go there and win at least six gold medals. And Toulouse says he's optimistic that they can win more than six gold medals. So the African Games, once again, letting us know that there are other shining sports in Nigeria, that it's not just football, but hey, we know that football is the king. Uh, we're talking about sports in Nigeria, but we still do so well. We do well in Taekwondo. We do well in, in badminton. Yes, recently we've been doing so well in badminton. We've been dominating table tennis for quite some time now. Yes, the Egyptians, they're also doing their thing. But I don't know, Quadri is currently ranked Africa's number one. Um, we're doing so well with wrestling also. Let's just hope that this will remind us once again that we need to invest more in other sports so that uh, they can also shine like football. Let's get to football now. Let you know that Super Eagles players, they are moving from one club to another. Let's begin with uh, Super Eagles forward. Moses Simon, he has joined French League One club FC Nons on a season-long Long loan deal from La Liga side Levante. Uh, Nons have the option to make the move permanent at the end of the season. And also Chido Zia Waziem, he has joined Spanish La Liga side CD Liganes from Portuguese Giants FC Porto on the one yellow. Uh, so is this good? Is this good for them? You look at the club. It's brilliant. Mm. We are talking about our players in the top five leagues in Europe. Mm. They are not playing in Belgium. They are not playing in Portugal. They're not playing in Denmark. They're not playing in anywhere else. Turkey, they're playing. They're moving from La Liga mm. to the French League on. Mm. This is what we want. Yeah. This is the level we want to have our players. This is, we don't want them like sitting on the bench. We can talk about them. Of course. Yeah. I mean, play competitively where we can really see you. Compete against the very best in the world. Yeah. For instance, you have Romero and now Awazem, who Same will play club. against Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, yeah. Valencia, yeah. Sevilla, Barcelona. Yeah. It gives you goosebumps when you watch them and, and see how they, well they play. And when they play against Villarreal, you see of three course, Nigerians. You see, you see three Nigerians yeah. in action. So these are the things that make you interested in watching those games. Yeah. And it's good because now we've had five Nigerian players from the AFCON team, out of 23, mm. who have made a move this summer. Yeah. It's been Awaziem, uh, Moses, Simon, yeah. Henry Yekuru, Victor Osime, uh, Osime mm. and goalkeeper Francis Uzoho as well. He made a move this summer, not to a top, top league, but he's been able to move as well. Which tells you that going as far as third place, the eyes of the world was on the Super Eagles. They wanted mm. to see these guys, and they saw. I'm sure that Villarreal must have been very stubborn otherwise, Mm -hmm. One or two teams must have come to knock on the doors of uh, uh, Samuel Samu Chukwese, but they, they won't let yeah, him go, of course, because future. they have another yeah. season ahead of them. So it's good. Now in the French Ligue 1, we'll have five Nigerians, yeah. right? We'll have Victor Osimel, we mm -hmm. have um, Enyo Oyeku, we have yeah. Samuel Kalu, yeah. we we'll call have, um, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Awazian. Awazian. Oh, that's four, Awazian. I beg your pardon, not yeah, five. Four. So. That, that, that is something to look forward to mm. every season. And right now, Monaco are on a project trying to get in some of the best legs across Europe yeah. to come join the team. So, which means that it's going to be interesting. You're going to have Victor Simeon playing in the UEFA Champions League this season for Lille. He began his season with two goals already. Mm. Got his very first goal on the 19th minute. He got two goals that got Lille the winner over Nantes. As we made the move happen earlier, perhaps I wasn't could have given that game. Lama? And there have been two Nigerians facing off. But mm. this is what mm. we look forward to. Good. I like it. Alex Iwobi also moved to Everton. And we're also hoping that he gets to play regularly yes. at Everton. So that's really good for, for Nigerian football. I was him, uh, we wear jersey number 12 at Leganes and becomes the second Nigerian at the club after Kenneth Omero. Remember Kenneth Omero uh, switched, uh, confirmed. Uh, confirmed uh, the loan deal from Chelsea to Leganes on a permanent deal. So that's really good for the country. 